Thank God it's over. Thank God election is over. It's over. Now we can go back. We can go back. I'm done. Romney lost. Ha ha ha. Yes. Thank you, God. Now let's get down to business. Why are you mad, nigga? Why are you mad, nigga? I'm not. I'm actually, I'm really not mad. I'm really not. For the first, I take that back. I am offended. I was getting on a bus yesterday, and this bitch sat next to me and started smoking her weed. She didn't ask me, did I want to smoke? I don't even smoke. But she gonna blow her smoke on me? No, when I smell like Versace, I don't want to smell like weed Sachi. Besides that, I'm not mad. I'm actually not mad. I'm actually pretty happy. I'm actually thrilled because I'm about to keep it real for you. Real, real. Here we go. Number one. Bing! It's time to not just be looking for somebody to, to, to hire you. Create a job. Create it. A long time ago, America was in a depression. What made America great wasn't the fact that they were waiting for jobs. They were creating jobs. They were making opportunities. The problem is they say there's not enough opportunity. When the fuck in America? Get you a camera. Get you some something. Create something. Kanye West said, take the power in your own hands. Do on your own dance. You know what I'm saying? That's what he say. You got to take the power in your own hands. You got to do shit. You got to want it. You got to want it. Because I want it. I do it. You should do it too. I want to support you too. And you can support me too. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, if you are a dream chaser, yes, I am proud of you. Go after your dreams. Go, go get it while you still can before it's too late. But if you are a dream chaser and you got kids every fucking where, kids come first, dog. Kids come first. Then you go and chase your dream. Another problem is, too, depending on what type of woman you with, better hope she understand. If you're an older guy, Go after your dreams, man. You're never, it's never too late. Go after it. Don't be sitting over here waiting. I ain't got no job. Obama fucking up. Romney fucking up. George Bush is fucking up. Listen, real millionaires, real people that are successful, no matter who was the president, they're still successful. That's how we got to be. We got to want it. We can't just sit over here and say, what handout can I get? I'm going to keep it real, black people. I did not vote for Romney. I didn't like him. I don't like his, his attitude, the way he came off. But some of the shit he said was... It wasn't too off. You know, a lot of us is looking for handouts. Just keep it 100. It's like this. We, we can't sit around and expect somebody to save us. Let's go and get it. I remember back in the 80s, one thing that used to trip me out was in the 80s, dudes was like, I'm selling D. I'm finna feed my kids. I'm finna do this. I'm finna do this. Well, they took that away. So it's not good to do that. So find something. It's hustles out there. Man, it's hustles out there. This ain't even no put down nobody type of video. This is just a go after it. I ain't even trying to be funny. I'm just saying go after it. You know, because black people, Mexicans, Latinos, my brothers, my sisters, uh, they look at us like we ain't shit. Like, like we're fucking ignorant because we curse a little bit. Because we walk a certain way. Because of our culture. Because we're rich in culture. I'm not dissing all white people neither. I'm just saying the perception on of us on, on us is kind of bad. You know, they look at us when the only way that they get money is through us. Anybody that's making money is because of people that's beneath them that support them. That's common sense. It's it's a pyramid. You know, it's common. You know, pyramid, right? I say we kind of step our game up. Why don't we stop buying their products? You know, like. I'm just saying, like, they look at us like we're bad. I remember Tommy Hilfiger. You remember Tommy Hilfiger when he was hot? He was saying he don't even like black people, but we was rocking that nigga clothes. Come on. I think it was, was Perry Ellis doing this shit too? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But whoever it is, it's like, we have to take a stand. We have to sit over here. We got to support each other. Even with the YouTube videos. Like, you know, you subscribe to me. I'm going to subscribe to you. You watch my video, I'll watch your video. It's all about coming up. Let's come up together. Let's do this. You know, fuck what divides us will bring us together. I'm here for one reason. God created me for one reason. That one reason was what? To make somebody laugh. Also to tell my truth. So that's what I'm here to do. So I don't care how people perceive me. I'm going to keep it raw. I'm going to keep giving it to y'all real, as real as I possibly can. I just want to make you laugh. But this one is food for thought. I love y'all, and I'm out. Why you mad, nigga?